is for those of you who are following uh, the Fannie Willis uh, the goggle, the whole uh, clown show, it's very quite entertaining. I do watch it. Uh, I've been following it, but uh, you got to watch um, Doug in Exile. He's got a great way of, of uh, communicating when it comes to dissecting, uh, communicating with others and communicating with his audience and dissecting uh, this uh, clown show of a of a trial. What's going on, <laughs> Fatty? What are you talking about, Willis? But <laughs> you got to check this out. Um, go check out Doug's in Exile and show him some love. And uh, I've been watching him for the past couple of weeks now, and I. Man, he really dissects his uh, <laughs> his um, uh, his topic when it comes to like uh, any political topics, and he's really good at what he does. So uh, check out Doug in Exile and um, check him out. Let's hear what he has to say today. Oops. Why are you always chewing so much news on Bonnie Willis? Are you obsessed? I'm going, okay, this episode is going to sound like a giant echo chamber. My microphone got unplugged <laughs> with apologies. I could re-record it, but I really like the performance. Yeah. I always go more for per performance than yeah. technical ability. So with apologies, it's going to be a little echoey. I'm going to try and fix it on the next episode. A reverb. Or... This is Doug. This woman is a one-woman news machine, man. Yeah, it's crazy. You ain't seen nothing. The corruption and the crime is this bad and gone on this Oh, long, my God. With no blockers or parameters or anyone to slow it down and stop it for years. Completely well-funded and utterly covered up. The kind of things that get that she has done and what Fulton County has done, it's not just her. Okay, This happened way before her. It's in way many other offices, many other courts, many other elections. You just do a little scratching and a little bit of research, and it's like lifting up a rock. I don't know how many of you, if you ever like go to, um, you know, New York or LA, I go in the back alley, you know, you lift a piece of cardboard, and it's like 8,000 cockroaches just scatter. Yeah, They're exactly. Boom. That's what it's like. With, with dirt and corruption. Oh, yeah. You lift up a rock, man, and suddenly it's like millipedes and worms and pillbugs and it's, ants. Exactly. And baby ant colonies in there with the queen and yeah. little cupids. It's like, oh, holy moly, put the rock down. We lifted a rock in Fulton County. This goes even deeper. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Wow. I'm Doug. This I'm a, I'm a comic book guy. But frankly, I'm having more fun right here on YouTube bringing you the news. So exactly. Thanks for watching. It's really good for my family. I think for my kids' college and just, you know, I, I can't tell you, it's a huge success. You're, you're coming in and you're subscribing. I have a personal goal of wanting to be 455,000 subs. That will break my YouTube record. So we're going to get me awesome. just a little more. I know you guys are working hard. You guys are doing your part, so thank you. You just yeah. kind of share this with your friends and we'll do this together. But awesome. here's AOPEX with today's, we're going to get to these headlines. Dude. This is stinky crazy. Bonnie Willis, you're a miracle machine of news. Okay, you ready? New witnesses in the Bonnie Willis case. Cindy Lee Yeager, a co-chief deputy DA for the Cobb County, Georgia DA's office. Too many titles, too many words. Is prepared to come forward to testify that Bonnie Willis told Terrence Bradley, he's the guy that was representing Nathan Wade, Bonnie Willis told Terrence Bradley not to cooperate with the investigation and that his testimony directly contradicts what she witnessed. That's it. <laughs> That's it. What more do we need? I know. That's... Bonnie, what are you doing? Here's the legal document. In <laughs> or around September of 2023, Mr. Bradley was visiting Miss Yeager. This is the new witness. In her office, when Mr. Bradley received a telephone call, Miss Yeager could hear that the caller was District Attorney Fanny Willis. District Attorney Fanny Willis was calling Mr. Bradley in response to an article that was published about how much money Mr. Nathan Wade and his law partners had been paid in this case. Wow. Okay? We reported on that back then. That's last year. Miss Yeager, this is the new whistleblower witness. Miss Yeager heard 
District Attorney Bonnie Willis tell Mr. Terrence Bradley, quote, they are coming after us. You don't need to talk to them about anything about us. Is that witness tampering, ladies and gentlemen? 100%. Is that how a DA, a district attorney that wants to run the most transparent district attorney, a reformer, is that how they talk? Hmm. As <laughs> Yeager, remember, this is a legal document submitted to the court. Ms. Yeager watched Mr. Bradley's testimony before the court and became concerned as a result of the fact that what Mr. Bradley testified to on the witness stand was directly contrary to what Mr. Bradley had told Ms. Yeager in person. Now, remember, we witnessed the change in Mr. Bradley, okay? He went from like, he was texting Ms. Merchant going, yeah, yeah, they were in an, an affair, you know, before they said they did in court. Then they try bringing him on the stand and he goes, and he's trying to hide behind his uh, attorney-client privilege. And then Judge McAfee removed his attorney-client privilege said, answer the question. He answered the question. He goes, I, I, I was speculating. Uh, I, I, I was speculating. See, someone came up and put a gun. Someone went up and tapped Terrence Bradley and said, you want to go float and face down on the river? Yeah. And out, out here in Fulton, Georgia? Yeah. You better clean up your testimony it's, quick. It's that new life so for sure. the story. Oh, yeah. Well, someone here saw Bonnie Willis witness tampering, witnessed it, wow. heard Bonnie Willis tell him, hey, you don't need to talk about that with anybody. And that's what today's news is about. Therefore, in the event that the court reopens the hearing to receive additional evidence, uh, as requested by the state defendant, former President Donald Trump, Mr. Schaefer requests, this is Mr. Schaefer, we're going to get into Mr. Schaefer, he's great, requests that the defense be permitted to subpoena Ms. Yeager and present Ms. Yeager's testimony related to the matter set forth herein. Respectfully submitted, this is March of 24, that's just, we got the news right here. Brand new news, guys, not the old stuff, this is new. Wow. Oh, and I found this funny meme. It's uh, Lyhard starring Lewis Willis. She's got an ape and wave. Lewis Willis, Lyhard. Sending him uh, 3,500 texts in a year. Oh, New my York God. Post, Bonnie Willis Lyhard. warned Nathan Wade's lawyer to stay quiet about the affair. Court filing claims, quote, they are coming after us. Okay? Yeah. This is the hero. This is David Schaefer. He's one of the co-defendants. There are 18 co-defendants. Remember, Sidney Powell uh, flipped and pled out. Jenna Ellis uh, flipped yeah. and pled. And I like Jenna uh, Ellis. Dave Schaefer did not flip and plead. Here's David Schaefer. He has his, uh, by the way, his he has his mugshot is his avatar in Twitter. So he's, he's proud to have his mugshot as one of Trump's co-defendants, David Schaefer. My lawyers today proffered testimony by the Cobb County Co-Chief Deputy District Attorney, in support of our motion to disqualify Fonny Willis and Nathan Wade, read our notice here. That was the legal notice I just read you, but here's the actual legal document. In the Superior Court of Fulton County, State of Georgia, this is State of Georgia versus James, David James Schaefer, defendants. Defendants, notice of proposed testimony, which he's going to give. Defendant David J. Schaefer files... Uh, this notice of proposed testimony and respectfully submits to the court and the parties that in the event that the evidence were reopened regarding the various motions to discuss, to dismiss or to disqualify the district attorney of Fulton County, Fonnie T. Willis, and or special prosecutor Nathan Wade from the prosecution of this action, that Mr. Schaefer would offer the testimony of attorney Cindy Lee Yeager a co-chief deputy district attorney from Cobb County, Georgia, district attorney's office, who overheard Bonnie Willis tell Terrence uh, Bradley, Shh, no one needs to know about what you know. This is what I love about Mr. Schaefer. He's the one who brought up this new line of attack, a brand new opening on Bonnie Willis that we did not have yesterday. From in or around August of twenty uh, of 2023, last August through January of this year, Ms. Yeager had numerous in-person and other conversations with attorney Terrence Bradley, in which information relating to the district attorney Willis and Mr. Wade was discussed. So she could be someone in his office who has access to his phone line, okay? 
And then here's Savannah on Twitter. Add witness intimidation to the list of crimes Bonnie Willis has committed. Instead of putting Trump in jail, she might end up there herself. That is where she belongs. Uh, here's just a common Joe. Isn't this witness tampering? How many felonies can Miss Willis and co-conspirators commit before they're charged? I know. Isn't this behavior the textbook of Rico? Isn't what she's actually doing with Terrence Bradley a racketeering and interference, a Rico charge? That is, is not what she's accusing Trump and all these other co-defendants formally of? Isn't she the, be, the one who should be on trial for Rico? Yeah, There's, uh, exactly. That David Schaefer, oh, my really God. Like I have not considered a plea for <clears throat> Bonnie Willis for even a nanosecond. I am fighting for wrongful prosecution with all my strength. Thank you so much for the prayers and encouragement. I have never once felt alone. This is what happens when you reach out on social media, my gang. Yeah. You can find at David Schaefer right there on Twitter. You can send him money. He does have an open thing where people can fund him, but that's beside the point. But this is a good, good guy. These are the kind of people that Thonnie Willis tries to take out. Men of courage. Men who stand, men who will not bow the knee and break to corruption. <laughs> Terrence Bradley, you bowed the knee. You changed your story. Yeah. You could come clean, my friend. If yeah. you see this, come clean. And you can redeem yourself. Here's Bill Holloway. Guys, yeah. this is probably like Dr. Fulton Johnny D.A. Bonnie Willis. The judge cannot ignore the mounting evidence that she perpetrated, orchestrated a fraud upon the court to hide evidence of nepotism and an illicit affair. No judge can let this slide. Doug, Exile. <laughs> wow, that is some brutal... Um, well, let's just say that Bradley's pretty much done. He uh, dig himself into the ground. You, you, you figure he... He got, um, what did he do? He got scared, and uh, I'm pretty sure somebody threatened his life or his family, and what else are you going to do? They told him to hush, hush. Fanny Willis, Fanny, what are you talking about? Willis is pretty much done. They are gonna, this case is going to be closed. Instead of putting POTUS 45, that's lingo, so read between the lines. Uh, POTUS 45, um giving him DOJ is supposed to um, do a deep dive invitation of him to see what's going on to see if he's corrupt or not with the actuality it's the other way around what they did is what they're trying to charge POTUS 45 um, all what they the racketeering and all the evil um, corruption um, it is absolutely a clown show but I love watching it so Doug in Exile just uh, hit it dead on. So be sure to check him out. Show him some love. Doug in Exile on uh, his YouTube channel as well as mine. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below. Now, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we'll see you in the next uh, video podcast. Um, this is going to be good. It's uh, This is going to be a bumpy road. And uh, we'll see what's, uh, what's there to come in the next nine months. Like we just had a cyber attack about three hours or six hours ago and uh the youtube and instagram is finally up and running but uh, a little slow a little glitchy but it's still uh it is back up and running so they gave us a little bit of taste a little in bit little little nugget of what's what's to come or what how much power they can do over us because we're on their platform except x and rumble so anyway uh that's pretty much for today so danny fanny what you talk about Willis and uh, the witness tampering of Terrence Bradley and they're all getting caught in the hands of the cookie jar. <laughs> but for now, God bless guys, and see you in the next podcast. Thanks, Dog Exile. Let's go.